Hi everyone. As you may have noticed, I've cleaned up the channel a lot, deleting a whole load of old videos, and I've given it a bit of a makeover. So basically, this is like a relaunch. But let's get to it with today's featured art kit, the Copic Chiao Markers. Now there are a host of extensive online videos with some great illustrators showing off their skills using Copic Markers. But as always, I'm here to introduce the tools, not do a long demo. Now markers have something of an image of being just for graphic design visuals. Visuals being the quick and dirty sketch used to give the basic idea of how some imagery might look. Bear in mind that they were the go-to tool before digital. So before things such as Photoshop or 3D software, if you were going to mock up a magazine cover, a car design or a fashion ensemble, you would reach for the markers. While times have changed and markers have come of age with their own styles, quality, build and colours that are light fast, not always, and their own community of fans. Copic has something of a cult following, even though other manufacturers also produce great markers. All things Japan really have street cred at the moment, and Copic is a brand of professional quality markers founded in 1987 in Tokyo. Alcohol-based colour means you can be fast and bold. You can cover areas quickly, layer colours, use sweeping strokes, somewhere between drawing and painting. They're refillable and available in various designs and in 180 colours. Note that there's 358 Copic ink colours available as refills. Copic markers come in two specific flavours. Sketch, the pro level pen, and then there's Chow, which is slightly more basic, i.e. a round body and less ink, which is considerably cheaper. Be aware though that the colour, or ink, and the brush tips are identical, so you're not missing out by using a chow marker. You might just have to refill it sooner if you're using it massively every day. On the chow, you have a medium chisel tip and a brush tip. Between them, you've got most things covered as the brush can do pretty fine lines. The colors will blend together well and using small circular motions, you can create pretty smooth areas of color if that's what you're going for. There's also a blender pen available, which simply contains the alcohol solvent, useful for softening edges, for example. With alcohol inks, and particularly in markers, the colour will seep through a lot of papers, and so you'll need to bear that in mind when choosing your materials. Yes, there are specific marker pads that don't bleed through. However, personally, I don't like their surface, and I don't like their feel, so I use all sorts of paper and just take account of the possible bleed through. For example, in my sketchbook, I have a sheet of acetate that I put behind a page so that while it doesn't stop it bleeding through, it stops it going onto the next page. I'll be doing another video about the topic sketch marker, but I love the chair marker and it regularly comes out urban sketching with me as an alternative to using watercolours. 